Hello! Season 2 of my single player Vault Hunters is finally here and I am beyond excited. Season 2 is based on Vault Hunters 118 which is a brand new mod pack and if you want to play it yourself you can find the link down below in the description. Although I will say I can't guarantee that it's there by the time this video publishes because you can't schedule releases on CurseForge so it, it, it may be there and if it's not it will be there as soon as they have approved the, the mod pack. Now many things have changed, a lot of things have improved and I will be exploring the changes and explain them as I get to them. But the first noticeable change is that in Vault Hunters 118 you start with zero skill points. And that is because gaining skill points and levels in Vault Hunters 118 is much faster than it was in the 116 version. The second noticeable change is the blue bar on the bottom left of my screen. That is my mana bar. And to be honest, it does nothing until I get my first ability. Now before we get started, there are a few options and settings to be considered. The first one being world generation, and as you can see, I have selected to play in the normal world generation, which uses Terralith as a biomod to enhance the terrain. And let me tell you, Terralith is absolutely amazing. And if you want to play on the exact same world as I do, the seed is Iskal85 Season 2. Very handy. But, and this is a big but, Vault Hunters now also have a brand new game mode. When you create your world, you can select more world options and world type Sky Vaults, which turns Vault Hunters into a Skyblock mod pack. Hello! Skyblock Vault Hunter style that is. I won't go into too much detail, but in this mode you get all of your resources through the vault itself. And to get into the vault, you can harvest these things. Raw Vault Crystals. It's a very exciting mode and works very well if your computer is a little bit older, because since there's no terrain to generate, your computer don't have to think about all of the chunks and the blocks and all of that stuff. Now, as for me, I have decided, based on the comments on the final episode of Season 1, to play in normal terrain. But I will most likely do a stream series of Sky Vaults this spring on my Twitch channel. For now though, I'm back on my tree. The next option to consider is difficulty. And we changed this quite a bit for this version of Vault Hunters. If you, like me, play on a multiplayer server, which I do because my intention is to invite my friends to play vaults with me further down the line. Yep, I was gonna do that last season, but I, I ran out of time. Then you can set the difficulty by typing slash the vault difficulty and then choose between easy, hard, impossible and normal. Personally, I'm going to be playing on hard. In a single player world, you can access the difficulty settings through clicking options and adjusting the vault difficulty accordingly. If you hit the padlock, you will lock the difficulty permanently in the world you're changing it. The last big change to consider before you start is our brand new feature, casual mode. By default, dying inside a vault will make you lose all your items, unless you have a modifier on the vault that somehow ensures your items. But with 118, we have introduced a brand new game rule, vault casual mode. If you set this to true, Dying will make it so that you get your items back that you entered the vault with. I know a lot of people are really happy about that setting. Personally though, for, for my playthrough, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna play on normal mode, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have it false. And with that, I think it's time to start playing. Ah, <sighs> the fresh air of a brand new Minecraft world. And since it is a brand new world, first things first, cocoa beans. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding, that, that's lucky. First things first is wood. Ah, there's always one left. I guess it's time for second objective, pickaxe. And then make sure to not fall into this death pit. I just want a little bit of stone. Mm-hmm, stone age. Wooden pickaxe, the shortest living tool of Minecraft. I'm gonna need some food. Ooh, melons. Literally terrible food, but still, melons. Hello there, friend. Ooh. Aha! Ooh. I am terribly sorry. 
Now I could go mining and try and find iron, but you know what's better than iron? Villagers. Unfortunately though, this terrain is a little bit hard to traverse. Hmm. Nope. Oh, yes. Vault hunters now have palm trees and coconuts and pumpkins. <laughs> totally exclusive to, to vault hunters. <laughs> this biome is very grand. It. <laughs> oh, I should I should not do puns in the morning. Oh, hello there. Still no village though. Maybe I should turn back and search this general area. Oh. Oh, I think that's a volcano. And volcanoes are awesome in this genera- Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna head back. Hello, son. We're gonna be together for a while. First night in a new world is always very exciting. Well, <laughs> not really. <laughs> special. Special is what it is. It's a special feeling. I should mention the biomod we're using, Terlit, doesn't actually add a single block to the pack, which is great for performance reasons, but it also is great for like vanilla inspiration of how to terraform lands. I say that as I'm standing right next to a modded tree, but these are added from the mod's ecologics. It may just be me, but it always feels like spruce forests are rich with villages. Although, <laughs> doesn't look to be the case in this area. I wouldn't mind some spruce saplings though. Aha! And my journey continues. I do really want to check out that volcano, but I also really want to find a village. Oh my, this generation is absolutely stunning. Look at that! That's crazy! Some people may consider that a chunk error. I consider it arts. Still no sign of a village though. I feel like I'm getting very unlucky here. I'm gonna return and head west. I should really consider a boat. But I'm swimming so gracefully. Oh, goodness. <laughs> village? Mm, no, that's looking pretty cool though. I absolutely love exploring a new world in Minecraft. Oh, hello there. Ooh, emeralds? Uh, I, uh, maybe I can't break it with this pickaxe. Just a moment. I'm so advanced. Nice. I gotta say, this mountain, as the sun sets for its second day, is looking more and more homely. I love, I love the mixture of the moss, the tough, and the cobblestone. It's... It's really, really nice. Time to go sleepy bums. Hmm, I guess I'll make a bucket. And trousers. Mostly because I can't afford a chest plate. I am big boy now. <laughs> Time to continue my search though for a village. And of course grab any iron that I can find on this very cool mountain. Yes, iron. Ah. Uh, Ah, so on this side of the mountain, there is like a warm savanna, and on the other side, there is a moist jungle. Very, very cool. And then this mountain seems to be piercing through everything in the middle. Oh, volcano, volcanic peaks. I love how Terralith uses vanilla blocks to create awesome looking biomes. But still, my quest for a village is going rather poorly. I'm starting to see things. I thought, from a distance, I thought that that was a villager head. <laughs> oh no, it's getting to my head. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Totally important priorities on day one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Excuse me, sir? Do you mind? I was just admiring my villager man. As the sun sets for day three, I have yet to find a village. I feel like I failed my family. They're lost somewhere in this world and they need me to rescue them. Stupid family. <laughs> There's another volcano. This area is... Absolutely grand. I love it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
That's a village. That's definitely a village. Back to the volcano. And there's also a nether portal right there. Back this way. I have no idea how I missed that. I was literally zooming in on the map over there. Well, that's a lot of cows in one area. <laughs> was a lot of cows in one area. I'm so mean. Oh, I see it. That is a nice looking place. And that is a nice looking gold block. Thank you. And chest. Well, uh, I, I don't think, I don't think this place has a chest. And besides, family time. Hello? Hello there, good sir. You are coming with me. Ooh. Potatoes, more spruce. Mmm, bread. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> nope. This is a very weird village. And so far, I've only found one family member. Oh! Oh, wow, that is... That is a very good chest. And totally the reason why I didn't make a chest plate earlier. Shelves? Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. This... This building is... Uh... <laughs> it's very interesting. It looks... It looks like a very bad moustache. <laughs> and, and, and some kind of glasses. I like it. Hello there, sir. Is this your house? You, they may, you may consider consider some architectural <laughs> updates. I shall relieve you of your work. Per, per, did you just did you just change your profession? No, you're fine. You come with me, sir. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna be doing this. We're gonna we're gonna join this call. <laughs> Hello there, sir. I have not kidnapped people. They are uh, they are at, uh, they're at their friend's house. Stupid golem. What even is this house? This mustache house. I can't even can't even get up. Wait, there's there's literally no no staircase up to the second floor. Bro, burglar, escal. Ah, oh, that's a that's a terrible chest, sir. I see that you have uh, smithed some armor. Unfortunately, I already have these pieces. Would you would you mind making me some boots? Also, <laughs> I see I see you put you put a nitwick <laughs> in a barrel. <laughs> no, you're not useless. <laughs> you're not useless. You're fine. <laughs> it's a beautiful, beautiful chore that you have going on here. <laughs> that, is, that is very funny. Don't mind if I take this, though. Hmm, it's quite an unfortunate uh, position that you've got yourself into there. Don't worry. I, I, shall, I shall rescue you. Iskal. Man, the hero they didn't know they needed. Right, I think I've uh, rescued them all from this bad village. And I think it's time to settle down somewhere. And honestly, even though it's quite a journey, I really, I really fancied this, this mountain. I thought that was very, very pretty. Aha. Uh -huh. I see how it is. Now you're telling me that there's a village 400 blocks that way. I know that already. Aha! I am very much a big fan of this. I don't know what it is. It's just... It just gives me like a... Ruins feel. Very, very pretty indeed. I got a great view, access to a jungle, and bamboo. Very important. There's terracotta on the other side, as well as acacia, and very cool volcanoes all around. Yeah, this 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 place is great. Time for a chest. A family chest. Hello, family. A blast furnace, and my furnace. And I guess I can cook up all the iron I've found, as well as the beef that I also just randomly found. On the floor somewhere. Ah, base. And I got quite a bit of resources actually from that little journey. Hmm. To cave or not to cave? That is the question. Treasure hunt? Yes, treasure hunt. Thank you. 
That is also a pretty interesting find with an ocean temple right below it. Yep, Terlith generates sky islands. And this looks to be rather massive. Don't worry, Bolt, I shall be back for you. Do this. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is a very weird but cool assortment of different blocks. I... I love this. This is this is really really cool. Hmm. Do I make a sky island base this season? I mean, there's definitely plenty of real estate up here to do that. And I really do like the foliage color of this island. Sky question mark. Look at that guardian temple right there. Anyway, for now, treasure hunting. Ah! Oh, I actually fell. <laughs> Well, this is awkward. First of all, I haven't found any more treasures, and I managed to somehow, without paying attention, go all the way around this edge and then end up back, back home by, by my mountain. And secondly, and more awkward, I have been playing this entire episode with strength star 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 star. <laughs> I did think it was weird that I was one-shotting the glow squid in the water. I'm terribly sorry, but I got interrupted by a wandering man making noise with his camels while recording the intro. So I asked my admin for help, and I guess he forgot to remove it afterwards. <laughs> anyway, there it is. Gone. I'm sorry, squid, that I totally overkilled. Oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry, Squid, that I totally overkill you. I, I should have I should have kept it. Why are these here? This is my mountain. I've claimed this place. Now, for those of you who have played Vault Hunters 116 or watched my series, you will know that basic armor is pretty bad. This may hurt, and they have height advantage. Ugh. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. It really hurts. Oh. No, 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 no. This is scary, this is scary! Dude, dude. Okay, I need to burn this man as well. Please, sir, step into the flames. Do you mind? I am trying to burn you. Yes, yes. No, no, I don't have any food. Ah! Oh! I did, I did it. Did I, did I still get the, did I still get the buff? No, I didn't, I didn't. Whew! Oh no, no crossbows. And I'm gonna have to eat cod. Mmm. Cod. <laughs> I better make it back. Ah, home sweet stuff. <laughs> Wait, I have found decorations. Brilliant. And... Uh, yes. I'm a world traveler now. And actually, even though I only found one treasure at the end of all of this, I managed to come home with two diamonds at least, a coconut music disc, and a leather shirt. Brilliant. <laughs> it didn't suit my eyeball. Now, since my treasure hunt wasn't all that successful, I think it's time I try and find a cave. One of the big changes we have done to Vault Hunters 118 is that we have made the Vault Altar a lot cheaper. In the 116 version, it required you to kill the dragon and basically finish the vanilla game, but now the recipe is much easier. All of these resources are found in the overworld. It does, however, require our own special ingot, the Chromatic Iron Ingot, which looks very fancy. It's an ore that's a little bit tricky to find in the overworld, but once you do, you find massive veins. And there's actually a pretty good trick for finding Chromatic Iron. You see, the way Chromatic Iron spawns in is that it will very rarely be exposed to air. And that includes air in caves. So therefore, the best way to find it is to find a water cave. I wonder if I can use the map to spot... Oh, that looks like some sort of underwater ravine. Aha! Oh, <laughs> it's not It's not very deep. 
That's actually a very silly underwater ravine. I need to find a cave that is at least below minus 30. Oh, maybe this is deep enough. Deep slate is a good is a good sign. Let's do let's build an underwater house. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. That is another thing I need. And these diamond ores are actually quite rare because they're stone. Yes, this is looking promising. Looking promising. Min minus 33. So I can find it on this level. More diamonds? Yes. It's time to invest. Diamond pickaxe. Oh my goodness. I am I'm liking this for my diamond hunting. And that looks to be chromatic iron. Yep. Raw chromatic iron. You don't need to water cave to find this, but it is a very efficient and smart way of finding the first few. You could just strip mine though. And is that is that actually it? Is that is that the entire vein? This is not chromatic iron, even though it looks very similar. Hmm, that looks to be all of the chromatic eight blocks. Normally they are much bigger, and they can be up to I think 128 blocks per per vein. Oh well, I guess that will have to do for now. It's enough to make the altar. Swim, Escal, swim. Next up, obsidian, and I have a pretty good hunch about this place. Yep. Pick up the raw chromatic iron. And that is my vault altar. Great success. Now there is one more thing we need, and that is the vault rock that goes in the middle. And that's also changed. There is no more vault rock ore to be found in the world. Instead, I need to find vault stone. And finding vault stone. I need to cave, although this time I'm going to find a more accessible cave. Vault stone can be found below minus five, and that is looking fairly decent. It's actually looking very, very cool. Oh yes, this is looking good. Now, vault rock isn't terribly rare. It can be a little bit rare though, but once you find a vein, you find a lot of it. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, a bunch of skeletons. Ah, ah, I found diamonds, but I can't mine them. They're protecting, they're protecting them. Aha, get doored. <laughs> Aha, I conquered the diamond. Is there just one? There's just, yeah, just one. Ah! Oh, really? That was very close. That was too close. More diamonds. This this cave is very impressive. Oh my. This is this is great. Oh, look at this. Urns. These can contain diamonds. They can also contain food, which would be pretty good right now. Oh, and this is vault stone. Right at the end of this cave. And as I said, once you find it, you tend to find quite a lot. And what I'm looking for is both the cobbled stone that comes out of them and these little chipped vault rocks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break all of this. Now, as I said, <laughs> once you find one vein, you're set for a while. I got 64 and 20 chipped vault rocks and then lots of the vault cobblestone. Time to hopefully survive my way out of this, of this cave, even though I don't have any food and I can't remember how to get back up. Yes! Resourceful cave. Now I just gotta get home, safe and sound. Well, I made it home, and then I got sniped. Stupid guy! I mean, he gave me a bow. It's garbage. <laughs> the, the bow has five durability. Well played, Skellington. Now that I have my chipped vault rocks, hello there, chipped vault rock. 
and potatoes baking in the oven, completely unrelated, I can craft a vault rock using four of these and a chromatic iron ingot. Great success. And I should also mention real quick that you can only get the chipped vault rocks from the untouched vault stone. So these cobblestone, I can't put them down and keep mining these. It doesn't work like gravel. And for those of you who watched season one, you know the drill. Vault rock goes on here and there's my red... Oh, I didn't... I didn't pick a bell up in my family's village, but there is the recipe. 32 cobble, 3 coal, a new chest, and quest for kelp bell. Home sweet double globe. <laughs> and kelp and bell. Nice. Family, say hello to extended family. Mmm, golden apple. Very important in Vault Hunters. As, as they make healing potions, no glistering melon. These make healing potions instead of glistering melons. Anyway, I need a button and... Woof! Big moment! Ah, my first season two crystal. One of many. Now all I need is a vault portal. And a vault portal is no longer made using blackstone. Instead, I need polished vault stone. Well, to be fair, I can also build it using the vault cobblestone itself. But it, it kind of looks ugly, so I'm going to cook this up. Ah. I love the way this block looks. It's really, really cool. Ah, vault portal. Although I feel like the surroundings could be a little bit enhanced. This is very slow. I've got an idea. James? This is your new house, James. Hello? Would you mind selling me an efficiency book? Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean a better efficiency book. There we go, James. It's not perfect, but it's actually very cheap for efficiency for. Thank you, sir. I might just as well place down Brian, Brian the farmer. Oh, he's a man of carrots. I don't have carrots yet, though. That's better for me right now, Brian. Thank you, good sir. Aha! Much better. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I am proud. Although with, with my very basic tools and materials, this was quite a grind, but I do think it's turned out pretty cool. Now, one thing that we have changed in Voltans 118 is that you have access to decoration mods immediately. They are no longer hidden behind research, so decoration is, is possible without advancing in the research tree. Which is really nice, actually. I, I love I love all the additions of different block types and stuff like that. I mean, look at this pillar. It's tough. Very tough. <laughs> anyway, 
I am now completely out of food and completely out of pickaxe and my inventory is an absolute mess. But I think this is a very good start and it really fits the mountain. I'm, I'm proud. Oh, it looks really cool during night time. Yes, yes. Anyway, cleanup time. As in, in inventory cleanup time. I'm, I'm gonna move all of these things over there, but I'm eager to get inside a vault. Mmm, red. Hello, new diamond pickaxe. Axe as a weapon and axe. Seems pretty good. And a diamond trouser has three armor, which is one better than iron, so that's a good upgrade. Whereas if I could afford boots or helmet, they actually have the same armor, so the only difference is durability, so that's definitely not worth. And I can't afford a chest plate, so that will have to do for now. This, by the way, is my sleeping bag. It's a very handy craft for uh, travels. B double O. <laughs> it, it's a portable B double O. Now one of the skeletons dropped this quiver, and quivers are very powerful, they can hold arrows. So because of that, I think I'm gonna invest in a bow as well. Huge investment. <laughs> and maybe I will even take it one step further by inviting Jimmy the Fletcher, hello Jimmy the Fletcher, to join me, because then I can buy arrows. Yes. Brilliant. And with all of this done, even though it doesn't look like it, I'm ready. Ready for my first vault. Wait, wait a minute. A en enchantments? Mm, no. We have removed any protection enchantment and any offensive enchantments from the game. There are several reasons for that. One being the constant XP and villager trading grind to get all the books you need. The second reason being very few Minecraft players knows the numbers behind different protection levels. And as such, it becomes an intangible upgrade for the player to keep track of. Instead, we have rebuilt the stat screen. Mm. Stat screen. It's so beautiful. The stat screen will tell you your damage, as in DPS, damage per second. It will also tell you your defense, and this is accounting for anything from armor value on your gear, to block rate on your shields, and other things like resistance. All of this to make it easier for you to track your progress. And I suppose there is one more kind of big thing I should mention before I jump in. Beginner's Grace. Every vault below level 10, as indicated on the vault crystal, has beginner's grace. And what does it do? Well, if you die, you don't lose any items. You also don't gain anything inside the vault, nor do you gain experience. But you basically, well, I would basically be set back to this position, minus my crystal. It's kind of like that game rule I told you about at the beginning of the episode, casual mode. But it applies to non-casual mode as well before level 10. It's a great feature. It allows you to be way more careless and truly learn how to run the vaults before, before risking everything. Anyway, with that... I think it's time for my first vault of season two. Here we go. Aha, advancement made the vault. Now every vault has a unique theme. It uh, specifies the blocks used in the palette and it also specifies other things like ores and mobs. This is the dripstone cave theme and one huge difference from Vault Hunters 116 to Vault Hunters 118 is that this very area here is completely safe because no mobs will spawn around me. I, I could, I could if I wanted to, go and have a cup of coffee and then come back and then exit the vault. I mean, that wouldn't be the best and actually I do need to remember to mark where I come from, which was not that way because uh, I, I've spun around now. I need to mark where I come from because you can no longer put down waystones inside vaults unless you enable a special game rule called allow waystones or waypoints, I should say. And also, as you can see in the top left corner, there are no more coordinates inside the vault. So you have to keep track yourself. There are things that you can research later that will help you navigate. Anyway, the whole vaults are now built up of POIs. These things here that contain loot, but also spawners. So I'm going to get close to that. That's a skeleton. And 
A few other things. <laughs> this is so scary. I don't know. I don't know how much damage I will take. Vo mobs in general do more damage now than they did last season. But they are also... Or last version. But they're also uh, protecting better things. Oh! And that is an ornate chest. Ah! A wild focus and a few other bits. Okay, I guess any loot is good loot right now. Diamond nuggets, a burger patty. Very nice. Also, it seems like my quiver doesn't work. So I'm, I'm gonna have to take... My arrows out, I guess. Now, every room is a lot more rich than what it was in Vault Hunters 116. So, it is encouraged to explore every room individually. Here's another PUI. This time, the spawner did not burn out on itself. So, I have to kill the spawner. Otherwise, more mobs will spawn. But I'm just gonna go in and ninja loot everything before more things spawn. Oh, that was a Schalke shell. That's really good. That's really, really good. Half a Schalke box. Another big change is that experience is based on how well I do inside the vault. How many mobs I kill, how many chests I open, and if I complete the objective. Which in this case is monoliths. I will talk more about that if it becomes relevant, but for now I just got a, one of these ghasts. Ah, Where did it go? Oh, it's back there. These guys do not get knocked back, so they're a bit tricky. Bo is doing good though. And we're free to loot. Maybe I should have brought the golden apple with me because as in 116, you do not regenerate health by default inside a vault. You need healing potions or golden apples or other things that we would get access to a little bit later. Now I wonder if I should take the risk of going down in this room. It seems a little bit risky. I think I'm gonna keep going this way. Mark my way and... Oh, there are some things over here. Any mobs? Uh-oh. I, th I think that may have been above me or below me. Anyway. <laughs> free, free loot? Question mark? Yep. Oh, another Schalke shell! I could honestly just head for the exit and bank my two Schalke shells. Or I could greed and push a little bit further. I mean, greed is good. Greed is good. And I think the mobs that were spawning may have spawned above here. Hello, excuse me, anyone, oh, 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 yep, 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 this was the spawner I heard, and that spawner did fizzle, so once I kill these mobs I can go in and loot, that's a brand new feature as well, some spawners fizzle, some don't, don't want to get hit, I don't want to get hit, aha, and that is a gilded chest, oh, and a mod box, I don't actually have any use for a mod box this early game, but I will take it anyway. What about you? Ooh, magic silk, dreamstone. All of these things are important. I could potentially even bring the enchantment table out. But, ah, it's fine. I don't have the inventory space to do so. I'll try and loot this place as well. Oh, I think that fizzled. So kill the zombies and then free real estate to loot. I just love the new chests that we have made. They look so good. Ooh. Ouch, sir. Careful. Careful with me. The vault dwellers, the guy I just killed and the other guy who fell down, they have a dash ability, so it's always good to be a little bit careful. Also, chests can still be trapped just like last, last version. This is a little bit scary, but I so want to grab this chest. Yes. More knowledge. The zombie camping my pillar. No! Oh, what is that? Oh, there are coin piles there! Oh, this may be a difficult PY though. Oh, every PY has... Oh! That's an archer skeleton. They are very dangerous early game. Very, very dangerous. They can... Oh! Yeah. The longer the arrow travels... Did I get him? Was I the better sniper? Although I am very damaged now. As I was going to say, different points of interest have different difficulty. The more loot, the more difficult they are. I wonder if the spawner broke itself. I don't think it did, which is going to make this really difficult to loot. I'm going to try and snag these, though. Oh, no. They just spawned. They just spawned. Uh-oh. And a hair skeleton. Hopefully it doesn't have a bow. Most skeletons do not have a bow. Early level. Just continue to ninja the coins. I'm just... Ah! Okay, okay. Okay, scary, scary, scary. Uh, please, please don't come after me. <laughs> I'm sorry that I ninja'd. 
I got I got 18 coins from that. <laughs> they are pretty stupid though. They just they just jumped out. Oh no! Oh no! I didn't say anything. That, that ghost is very scary. Uh, yes. Oh, there's another very good point of interest. These black and red chests are what contains the gear, the vault gear, and or crafting material for vault gear. So they're always very worth looting. Wonder if I can go down there. If it's a fizzle spawner, I probably... I can probably do it. As long as I don't trigger any other things. There are a lot of stuff down here, though. This is... This is very scary. I'm only on five hearts as well. Let's see what happens. I'm, I'm actually nervous. Is it gonna spawn anything? Yeah. Oh, it's a fizzle spawner. It's a fizzle spawner. As long as I can deal with the mobs. Oh. No! Skeleton hit me. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Whew. <laughs> he was I think he was stuck on the dripstone. Yeah, he was, he was stuck on the dripstone. Noob. Ooh, netherite. Mm, don't mind if I do. Now, there are quite a few new items. My basic... My basic advice for early game is you want all of this stuff. If you don't recognize it, pick it up and hoard it. Anything in here? Yep. These were all good chests. That was three netherite ingots. Wow. What about you? Yep. Some burger stuff. Very good. Whew, okay. Now the question is, with four hearts, do I continue further, deeper into the vault? Maybe a little bit. Greed is good. Hello, room? Any any good points of interest that I uh oh. <laughs> oh where 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 were they? Where were they? Just here for some some easy free loot, free real estate. Oh, maybe I can get this one. They fizzle. Du -du. Du -du. Yes. Yes, fizzle spawners are the greatest, best ever. There are some lights up here indicating that it, okay there is ah uh, that doesn't look that good that doesn't look that good and then some mobs spawn down there <laughs> this is so scary uh careful is skull care oh oh that's living chests living chests can contain healing potions and they contain more knowledge than a normal chest or can contain more knowledge essence knowledge is used for mods as we know question is I heard another mob. Is it gonna fizzle? No, it's not gonna fizzle, so I have to actually deal with it. Oh. I've already used up over a stack of arrows. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna run in ninja before it spawns again. I can break the spawner. Oh, 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 Shulker. Shulker, healing potion. There's a healing potion. Eee. Okay, 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 okay. Run up. Run away. I can break the spawner, but it takes very a very long time with my non-efficient i should have put efficiency on the diamond pickaxe i suppose i could have done that anyway i did get some stuff there was there anything else that i wanted in those chests mm. no i'm gonna be smart and i think i think move on or i could i have 11 minutes remaining i'll check out the next room as well this may be the last room of this vault though in terms of the depth oh Ores. Uh, Benutite is also very valuable this season. Uh, so is Laramar for, for mods. We've made every ore have an individual purpose. Oh, that's easy. They are, they're not going to spawn more here. Don't mind if I do. I am a mine crafter after all. I do have to throw something out though. I guess I can throw some chromatic iron because you can find that in the overworld. And I want this. Oh, nothing. Nothing? Okay, diamonds. I'll, I'll take a diamond. I'll take a diamond, I guess. Not what I was hoping for, but better than nothing. I really need to get fortune and, or silk touch for my pickaxe. This looks really, really cool. And I'm gonna climb it. Oh, more netherite. Yes, more netherite. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lots of mobs spawning in. Hopefully they were all zombies though. I think I'm good. Crit them, crit them, crit them. Yes. Am I clear? Oh, gilded chests again. Nice. Loot, loot all of the things. Break the bookshelf. 
Yes. Oh, this is great. This is absolutely great. Silver scrap. I kind of want that, although it's not going to be used super early. I don't think I have anything else that I want it that I would trade for it. Mm, no, I think I'm fine. That looks a bit too scary for me. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go down. And with eight minutes from. Oh, hello there. You have found your way up from wherever you spawn in the last room. Mobs inside vaults can be very persistent. Except for this guy. This man was just wandering around, minding his own business. Right. I think I want to go all the way back to the first room and then maybe I'll look in a side room. But my priority right now, I got so much good stuff. I got three netherite ingots, I got a full Schalke box. My priority is definitely to get home sound, sound and safe. Is that my portal? That is my portal, okay. So if I go that... Oh, I thought I saw a skeleton! Uh, left or right? I'm gonna go this way. Hello? Mark where I came from. Hello? I heard mobs. Uh, yeah, okay. Does that skeleton have a bow? No. I should say that we have 37 uh, unique common rooms and 200 or over 200 unique points of interest that randomly generate inside these rooms. So no room is like the next. Uh, I think that, that spawner probably doesn't fizzle. I don't dare to go for the non-fizzle spawners. Oh, living chest. Oh, let, let them spawn in, let them spawn in. Shooting fish in a barrel. Hello! <laughs> Got him! Yes. And now, free real estate. Ooh, more golden carrots. Oh, I don't really prioritize that now. I would like the cheese. The cheese is actually very good. I'm gonna throw away my shovel. Ch cheese over shovel. Oh, but I want this as well. Wait, 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 wait. I got a plan, I got a plan. Drink. Nice, throw away, and then take my blocks back. Brilliant. Is there anything else here? Nope. Okay. There's an underwater cave that leads... <laughs> nowhere special. <laughs> Less than five minutes remaining. I'm gonna check one more room now that I got another healing potion. I'm feeling pretty confident once again. Hello, room. Any Anything... Anything for me to snag? Any ornate chests that I can get some gear? I see some wooden chests over here. Ooh, okay, no, 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 that wasn't a bow. I thought he had a bow. If skeletons have bows, be careful. Pro tip. Maybe I can snag something over here as well. Uh-oh, that's a baby. That's a baby. I don't like babies. I don't like babies and I don't like vault dwellers. Hold. Ah, uh, vault dweller. Yes. Okay, okay. That was a really nice hit on the baby. Oh, S sorry, baby, but you are scary, okay? Baby scary. Ooh, an amplifying focus. I I definitely want that. Uh, 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 I don't have anything that I want to throw away, though. I guess I can leave my dream stones or my diamond. I'll, I'll leave my diamond. Sad day for the diamond. But one has to prioritize. I think it's a ghost. It sounds like that. Ghost sounds like random mobs. Oh. Oh, this... Okay, okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna hello there. I'm just here to... I'm gonna skip... Oh! Key piece! That, that's so incredibly rare to find on this level. Oh! Okay, no, 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 no. No, I gotta go! I can't! I can't fight the little baby! Uh. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what am I gonna throw? What am I gonna throw? I'm panicking. Uh, uh, hey, hey, I really want the key piece. I'm gonna throw, uh, I'm gonna throw, I don't know what I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna throw my dream stones, throw my dream stones. I don't need them just yet. Get that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Two minutes remaining. I'm gonna run out. I'm gonna try and run out. This is so scary. Go, 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 go. I can't believe I snagged a key piece. Key pieces are so incredibly rare at this level. That was a very lucky find. Back to my first room. This should my, this should be my start room. And I should be fine. As long as I don't fall or jump on a dripstone thing. Yes, 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 yes. Aha! Oh, I wanted to pick these up as well for decoration. But I, I reckon I can craft them. Oh, actually. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Big, big brain play. Yes. And... 
Yes, brilliant. GG, Vault. Ah, uh, survived. Yep, we have made a brand new end screen every time you finish a vault. And it's great. And so is my stats actually. Oh my goodness, 2000 experience where 1366 came from the looted chest. And yeah, I, I looted 47. Wow, this is this is pretty in impressive stats actually. 47 looted, one trapped. 90. Pretty impressive for, for a level zero first vault. I'm, I'm pretty proud of this. It's pretty good. I killed 62 mobs and took only 18 damage doing so while dealing 1,324. <laughs> all in all, great success. So then I press claim and boom, level one and a half. Now the fastest way to get experience early game is by completing the objective, which I didn't do, but I'm pretty happy with that one level and all of this loot, specifically the, the key piece. The key piece is pretty incredible, but I think more useful at this point in time is the netherite, the netherite scrap and the three shulker boxes. I guess I shall make a new chest and for now put it right here. I, I will move everything in to my to my new house, but not right now. Look at all that loot. Hmm. Let's make a shulker box. Great success. Let's take my braziers. And I was thinking they can sit up here and here. Yes, that's looking Omega. I then wonder if I got enough burger parts to potentially level up again. Probably not. But you can make several different burgers in this version of Vault Hunters. The plain hamburger being the, the first here. And then if I add cheese, I get the cheeseburger. But then since I have a little bit of an uneven number of burger patties, I can even make a double cheeseburger. Let's do that. And then I guess... Yeah, I guess I'll just make all of these and munch. Oh, oh, yes. This is this should level me up. Aha! Two levels. Before I get into levels though, let's get the netherite and the diamond nuggets out of the chest. Craft these up to three diamonds. <laughs> so unfortunate, I needed one more. But with these six, I could make... I guess I could make a helmet which again has the same armor as the iron helmet does, but it looks a bit fancier. But also if I would turn it into a netherite hat, then I'd get one more armor point, which I'm not actually sure if that's the smartest thing. I think it's good to turn my ax in because that's one more point of damage. And then my leggings can get one more point of durability or armor. Yeah, probably it's the best thing I can do right now to do the helmet as well then, because that is another point of armor. So I'm at 4%, I'm at 7% defense. I went up 2% between those two items. Very nice. Another significant change from the 116 version is knowledge. You get a lot more knowledge or a lot faster this time around. In fact, the entire game is a little bit faster to progress in the beginning and then slows down towards the end game when there's plenty of stuff to explore anyway. So do expect us to unlock mods earlier this season. And speaking about unlocking things, I think it's time we spend our skill points. And we can do so on either talents, things like speed or haste or strength, or we can spend them on active abilities. Hmm, vein miner. There are a lot of abilities to choose from. I'm gonna go with heal. Heals you for an amount of hit points. Cast ability. So on the first level, it will heal me for four hit points, which is two hearts. It will cost 30 mana and it will have a 10 second cooldown. This is a very good investment on level one because, well, it helps me recover inside the vault. And besides, look at how fancy it is. Ah, uh, very, very nice. And now, as you can see down below in my, in my left side of the screen, my mana got drained and is now regenerating. There are no mana potions. There's only passive mana regeneration, which you can increase uh, with, with vault gear. Now I could go another level in heal, which would make it cost a little bit less mana and have less cooldown, or I could do something else. And honestly, I feel like vein miner level one is a pretty decent investment. It's not going to be very useful inside the vaults, but just the ability to be able to vein mine four blocks 
when like chopping down trees is a massive quality of life. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna go vein miner. Ah, so very satisfying. I am so excited for this season, and I hope you are too. This version of Vault Hunters is basically the product of over two years of development, and I am so proud of this mod and mod pack, and of my team. And, and of course of you, who's watching it and, and hopefully enjoying it. Man, I'm really happy with, with how this looks, actually. Anyway, we are way out of the standard video time, so that's gonna do it for episode one. But I would like to say that simultaneously with this series, I'm also playing on the Vault Hunter SMP server. A multiplayer server with a bunch of other streamers, which is essentially there to test whenever we patch Vault Hunters before we push it to public. Sometimes there are crashes, but most of the time everything is fine. And I'm already on episode 13 of that series. Now luckily, after many years of not doing it, I have actually created a VOD channel. So if you didn't catch it but want to catch up on it, check out VODSCAL85, my secondary YouTube channel, for all the VODs from the Vault Hunter SMP server so far. And of course, if you want to see live twitch.tv slash escal85 as for this series i'm going to start off by keeping it exclusive on youtube in episode formats but anyway with that that's gonna do it for today and as i said i can't guarantee that curseforge has at this point in time when you're watching approved the mod pack yet and published it but if they haven't the link will be down in the description as soon as they have so that you can install and play yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please do hit the like button down below. And if you're brand new, consider subscribing. And I will see you in the next episode.